And we're back with an Agumon that's a little bit more prepared than not at becoming the Digimon I hope he will become. I hope we, he will evolve to Greymon. Now, let's get down to business and start recruiting Digimon to the city. The way this works is that sometimes you might have to talk to them. Oh, oh look! Two Agumons! Wow. What, now? Okay, let's fight. What you have to do is converse with Digimon, and some of the requirements to get them to join your city might involve battle. Okay, right now I can't tell which Agumon is mine. I'm confused. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Oh, this is great. I don't even have to do anything. Nope. Okay, maybe one thing or two. I have enough HP and MP to last during this battle. Okay, so the opponent Agumon is shown with the green life bar. Okay, that's enough to distinguish who's who in battle. Let's see, Agumon dropped small recovery. I lost rats. Could you imagine... Tom Fawn, the voice of Agumon in Digimon Adventure, the original, were saying this dialogue. Huh. I should invite him to the city. Mm -hmm. Alright, that was one battle down. Let's see if there are any more items around. Oh, yep. A digi-mushroom. A digi-mushroom is basically the replacement of meat. Well, it's a mushroom and it's from the digital world. I want to go rest up because there are plenty more battles ahead to fight. Let's see what's changed here. Yeah, when Digimon are recruited to the city, even the buildings begin to change. Some look like they're under construction, while others are completely finished, being renovated. And some, of course, will be opened up for business for the first time in a long one. Agumon came to the business, he started a business over here, hopefully more Digimon will be like him. Let's rest. Okay, awesome. I have enough food to last me the rest of the day, hopefully. And that's the thing about food in this game. It's very scarce at times, but if you've practiced this game, if you've continuously played it on and on, then... Oh, Mammon will digivolve. Yeah, on and on. I'm sorry that I lost track. Then you'll have things accounted for. You'll have more food in your pockets. From fresh Digimon to in training, it only takes six hours. From rookie Digimon, from there to rookie, it takes about a day to evolve, and then it takes three days to go to champion. Yeah, Digimon is related to weight parameters and care mistakes, just as I explained in the beginning of the of the first video. I don't understand very well. I'll ask Gigimon. I think it means Gigi, as in Gigimon. Let's see. I'll probably dump off a restore because I don't need it yet. Restores are for battle. Like, the extent of battle where it looks like your Digimon might die or does die. And... And how shall I say this? You want to give him a second chance at fighting. Me, I've trained my Agumon enough so that he won't really die in the middle of a battle. Okay, so what else do I want to get rid of? No, I think this is good. Yeah, Agumon's business involves storage keeping. You don't get access to the items until you put them back in your column, in, into your pockets. And this place is actually useful just in case you grab too many items. Okay, so that takes care of that.
Let's go past Native Forest and see what's up. I remember this game, but I'd like to get you guys into the into the concept of exploration. Oh, Digimushroom. Yeah, this game is heavy on exploration. It's almost like a Castlevania type of deal. And I've played the Castlevania. Um, Mirror of Shadows HD, so I have an idea of how to explain this. What we want to do is that, since we're starting out with Agumon, we want to stick to Native Forest, since we have a, a rookie Digimon. What we want to do right now is make certain that Agumon fights Digimon on his level. Let's explore for a bit. Medium MP, that's nice. Vending machine. 300 bits for a me- yeah, no. Yeah, no, I can find them in the native forest for free. You'll get a sub-menu with a fishing icon. Okay, if I have a fishing rod, I'll use it. Okay, so here we can come back to do another activity later on. I, I don't really feel the need to explain it now. There's some red Vegemon and Betamon. Let's see what's here. Kunimon's bed. Well, I guess I could talk to him. I guess I could chance it. But who I really want to battle right now is Palmon. I remember. Yes, you can find some Digimon that that don't really have that don't really cause a lot of problems. That's not Palmon. That's just a co a different color scheme, a variant. Want to grab that mushroom? Ooh, I'm safe. Okay, good. So, as I was saying, um, the reason I've been hesitant to battle Kunamon is because I'm not sure if I can take down two poisonous Digimon. I'll get into that in a sec. A flower. Yes. Palmon is a poisonous Digimon type, not just because of her attack Poison Ivy, but because she can inflict battle damage uh, through effects. Let's see if this is nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, Agumon has been poisoned right there, which means he'll take damage on his own due to the effects of Palmon's attack. And this is only in battle, though. If, if I defeat Palmon, I should be fine. I gotta be careful with the timing. Because that attack is enough to cripple me. Not to mention the poison, too. Can I use my final attack? Oh, no, she's already down. Palmon dropped a brain chip. Oh yes, a stat boost chip. Come to the city, it's peaceful there. Uh, let, let's use the toilet. I'll fight Kunamon afterward. what that is. That th th does this look like an item? I can't pick it up. Hmm. Okay, let's get one more Digimon. I have enough room in this video for one more battle. So let's see if we can take him. I'm hungry. Give food. I don't feel right about this, but hey, I have a Digi Mushroom or two I can spare. 
let's fight. I, Kunamon is another poisonous Digimon, so I gotta be careful what I do. I'm gonna wait until he's at least at half damage. Anything else I can say? I mean, I want to talk more, but I might be taking my attention off the battle. Sometimes multitasking isn't really my thing. Let's see if I can finally use Pepper Breath. Okay, it's going well. Although I wish I, that I'd been the finisher. Oh boy. And he's resisting my Spitfire attack. This is not good. <laughs> All the way at two. Okay, now it's zero. All right, we're fine. Kunamon dropped MP chip. I'll explain what the chips are in a moment. An insectoid Digimon. I want to get Agumon back to the city because it's a little more safe. Oof, I almost ran into a battle I did not want to fight. Let's see if I can get him back without any problems. Oh my god, I was so scared for a moment. Because I, I, cause I'll get into that process of losing your Digimon during battle. And it really hurts your chances of getting a better Digimon. Okay. I've decided that even if I don't get Greymon, wh whatever happens, I will evolve anyway. I'll move on and just fight with the Digimon I have. Let's see, I saw some delicious plants, so I decided to eat. Okay, so Kunamon seems to give tips about food. And don't get me wrong, I've played this game, but it's been 10 years since I've last actually gotten my hands on it. And I was only able to do it through an emulator. So I am kind of lucky. Expanded the meat farm, giant meat. 500, bu 500 bits each. Alright, so we'll talk to Gigi Mon and see how things are. Expanding the meat farm and weed eating. Ha. Huh. Weed. Ugh, oh, I shouldn't have hit rest. Uh, I I'm not really doing anything. I guess I could just save the game and move on. There's a giant man. There we go. Sometimes giving Digimon food will have an effect on the discipline gauge, but not by much. Let's see what Bodamon has to say. The tamer level. When you're. With the high level. Tamer level. When your Digimon fades away, your next Digimon will have better parameters. So, what that means is that with your Digimon having a certain... With your human having a certain tamer level, your Digimon will get better stats the next time it's reincarnated. Yeah, I'll talk about the reincarnation system as well. Um, 
uh, let's try to keep this under 16 minutes. So here, while we're talking to Tokamon, there are 24 hours a day. Like, that clock shows you the time that passes. Every minute in this game is an hour in the digital world. Other small villages. Up is midnight, down is noon. The red part on the left means late afternoon, it shows 4. The purple part on the right means morning, and it shows 4 to 8 o'clock. When Digimon are active at certain times of the day, most of them can get up in the morning and sleep at night, but some are opposite. If you can't meet the Digimon you wish, try a different time of day. Okay, so what... I mean, you kind of have an idea of what that means, but I want to go talk about the, the fadeaway, the reincarnation system. Your Digimon will live up to a certain point, and then they die. Um, I want to see what's going to happen next. Actually, you know what? Let's let's see if we can go back to the gym and train a little bit. I guess I'll talk about the reincarnation system when that time comes. Alright guys, see you in the next part. I'm happy to have made this second video.